Hello, hello, and welcome back to our third show of biz to biz TV here at the Custard Factory in Birmingham. My goodness me, have we got a jam-packed show for you today, including a brand new look at Birmingham's beautiful skyline. Take it away. On this week's show, we'll be taking a look at the following segments. Once again, we're back here in the biz to biz TV studio. Now, as well as the rising numbers of viewers on our live stream and Vimeo On Demand, we're also getting a large number of people watching the show in high definition on internet-enabled TVs. So, as well as mobile phones, tablets and computers, you can also enjoy biz to biz TV on Apple TV, Roku, or in fact, any other smart TV. Just find the Vimeo channel on your smart TV, search for biz to biz TV, and off you go, Rosie in HD. Now, smart TVs are not the only inventions to broaden our viewing horizons. In the past few years, development in high definition cameras have allowed viewers to see completely new views of the world. Our first segment this week is by Didier Soulier, a French UAV pilot living and working right here in Birmingham. Now, Didier has been working with a number of companies in the city using his remote control video drone to capture some stunning aerial views of Birmingham. Watch this and enjoy. Didier Soulier about his fantastic intimate images of city centres, of businesses and how he creates this wonderful, wonderful atmosphere and what he does. So Didier, hello. Um, how are you doing today? Very good, thanks. Um, thanks for, for coming to see me today and showcase my, my video already. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to meet you. I mean, th these videos are just superb. They capture something that I think traditional videography just cannot do. Can you tell us how you first began in this journey of yours? Uh, really, at the beginning, it was a, a friend of mine from France actually sent me a drone, uh, a very uh, toy version, you know, um, through the post, uh, to use on one on, on my weddings, and um, I've started to use it on my weddings, and uh, and people responded very cool. But the thing is, the camera was not really very really good, so I thought, well, what about if I spend a bit of money here and get a big, a, a decent drone with a better camera, so I can actually uh, use it uh, for 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 my business. And since I've been since I've been bu buying the, the new one, um, the the response from my video has been very good, and my business has very really take off uh, since I can actually provide people, uh, businesses, and 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 and, and all in Birmingham. Uh, with uh, aerial video. So can you tell us who and um, which kind of businesses have been using your your services then Didier? Yes of course yeah uh, the first company that I've been working with is uh, Century Property uh, they're a property based uh, in Birmingham and uh, they use me to showcase their high-end properties um, in the in the soil area basically it involves me uh, flying around the house uh, from the air to give some nice 
uh, uh, filming from uh, from different angles um, to showcase uh, potential buyers, and that's been very successful. The other thing I've been uh, doing for Century Property is uh, a roof survey where uh, I can fly my drone uh, up to the roof uh, to, to get some close-ups of, of see if there's any potential repairs um, that needs to be done. I don't think anybody else is doing this at the minute and that's just save money. There are some gorgeous, gorgeous photos of the new library in Birmingham there. So tell us about the work that you've done with them today. Um, yeah, basically uh, I got involved with the uh, architects that designed the library. Um, funny enough, I, I was on Twitter and I did ask, I uh, said, look, you know, I'd like to cover the, the new ba Birmingham library opening uh, with my drone. And uh, funny enough, she got back to me on uh, on Twitter and said, look, send us an email to Mecano, which is the company that, uh, that actually uh, deal with the, with the architects. So um, I got involved with doing um, the opening and before the opening, so I got involved into flying my machine uh, inside the library when nobody was around um, so that was pretty cool um, that's one of the huge benefits isn't it that you can get inside those buildings you can get these wonderful bird's eye views these aspects that you just couldn't do with traditional videography um, so how why do you think then that the library chose you for that what was it that you liked about it? I think I think it was the, uh, the only one I actually managed to actually um, talk to them about this and they were very interested as soon as they saw the work and uh, I had a few meetings with them um, and they were like, yes, we we're very, very interested into having this because it's something new for them to showcase their building, you know, for their own marketing purposes. There are so many businesses, I think, are looking for those videos on their websites these days. They want that sort of showcase, really, of what their business is all about. So how can what you do with your drone and your beautiful photography and videography, how can it help businesses, do you think? How does it help to promote them and put them on the map? Well, I think it gives the it gives them a, a different perspective, you know, a, a view that the that unless you got a lot of money to to, to spend on it, you won't really get. And um, so I think you know the drone in that in that in that in that instance uh, keep a very very cool uh, different perspective, you know. Well, your your passion certainly comes through. It's a wonderful wonderful um, thing that you do. So thank you so much for sharing it with us today, Didier. Thank you. Since I met with Didier last week, he's actually completed a whole new video called Welcome to Birmingham. So we thought we'd give you a little bit of a sneak preview of that as well. Take a look.
Birmingham. Okay, that's great, but could you turn down the accent a bit? Well, that's just the way I speak, you mate. Birmingham. Hey, one more time. Oh, watching that footage really gives me goosebumps. It's a good job I had a nice coffee to settle the nerves. Uh, thank you to the staff of Cafe Filia for allowing us to film there as well. Now, if you're keen to tell the business world about your event, product or service, then contact the BizDiviz Biz TV team at this address or keep up to date with LinkedIn or Twitter. Our new service is free, so if you have a press release ready to go, then send it to us at this address and grab yourself some free publicity. Now, let's take a look at some of our contributors' adverts. There's nothing like the experience of Vegas. Except perhaps the Variety Society Vegas Experience. Play the tables, enjoy a drink, then take your seats for a real Vegas show. That's life. That's, life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, you're shut down in May. Vegas experience is something really special. A theater show and fun casino all in one. So the excitement starts as soon as you get to the theater. You're looking for a way to reduce paper waste and expand your marketing reach. You're looking for a way to keep your sales force on message and up to date. You're looking for a way to make selling your products so simple they almost sell themselves. You're looking for Icon the revolutionary cloud-based sales information system from Governor Media for exhibitions, sales, and seamless brand recognition. Documents on the ICON system are available instantly for exhibitions and representatives. Intelligent Marketing, Governor Media. advert block I mentioned our news service it's one of the few changes you'll be seeing in biz to biz TV over the next couple of months now the new segment of the show will start on the 21st of November so get your press releases to us as quickly as you can because we only have 10 slots per show available now larger companies generally have departments or agencies who write their press releases for them but many SMEs usually prepare their own if you're not sure what a press release is or how it can help your company get noticed then here is a little item that you'll find very, very interesting.
every business could use a little bit of free publicity. And here at biz to biz TV, we provide a news service which is completely free. All you need to do is send us a press release about your news and we'll try and squeeze it into the show. Press releases are a fundamental tool of PR work, but sometimes the format and content are not fully understood. Most importantly, a press release is not an advertisement. So, here are our tips for creating a good press release for biz to biz TV. Let's start from the beginning. Just what is a press release? A press release is a written statement to the media. They can announce a range of news items, including scheduled events, personal promotions, awards, new products and services, or sales accomplishments. We can also use them to generate biz-to-biz -biz feature stories. Write a genuine headline. It should be brief, clear, and to the point. An ultra-compact version of the press release's key point. We recommend writing your headline at the end after the rest of the release is written. The headline is the eye-catcher, or hook, and is perhaps the most important single line of the whole release. See how it works? Now you want to know more. Press release headlines attract the attention of the reader, quickly and concisely describing the content of what's to follow. Conventional press release headlines are written in bold, use the present tense and exclude a and the, and they use key words extracted from the press release. Next, we write the body of the press release. It should be written as you want it to appear on biz to biz TV. We won't have time to research your company's big announcement, so the details you write in the body will be what our presenters will use in their piece to camera. Start with the date and place in which the press release originates. The lead or first sentence should again grab the reader and say concisely what is happening. It should expand the headline enough to fill in some of the details of the story. Avoid using very long sentences and paragraphs. Avoid repetition. Avoid overuse of fancy language, industry specific jargon. Strive for simplicity and no wasted words. The first paragraph should sum up the press release and the additional content must elaborate it. With the limited time slots on the show, if the start of the release doesn't generate interest, it may be overlooked for a more interesting item. Deal with actual facts, events, products, services, people, targets, goals, plans, projects. A simple method for writing an effective press release is to use the five W's and the H. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. This should tell the reader everything they need to know. Who is this about? What is the actual news? When does this happen? Where does this take place? Why is this news? How is this happening? Remember, biz to biz TV is targeted at businesses. So make sure your press release is newsworthy to businesses, not the general public. The more newsworthy you make the press release copy, the better the chances of it being used on the show. For biz to biz TV, you'll need to keep your release to approximately 100 words or 30 seconds reading time. Finally, be aware of our schedule. biz to biz TV airs a new live show every two weeks. If the press release is date critical, make sure you get the release to us early for the correct show date. Well, that's everything you need to know for now, so we look forward to reading your news. This is you, and you have this really cool and awesome web application that you want to share with the rest of the world. 
So you create a website, which kind of acts like a bridge between you and the whole world. It helps you connect with people so they can learn about your application, stay updated, give you feedback, help you earn money, and so on. You can see how important your web app is, and if it has any security bugs, it gives bad guys a perfect opportunity to destroy it in every possible way. And when they do it, you'll no longer be connected. People won't know about what's going on. Your income will suffer and all your hard work will go down the drain. So you want to search your website for any bugs and fix them before disaster strikes. Since not all of us have a personal virtual assistant to do our work, we hire someone who can do it for us. The bigger your site is, the more people will be required to do the job, which means more money and time. And in the end, you might end up broke. Wouldn't it be great if you could achieve all that work without losing money? Well, now you can with the help of Nprobe. And this is how it works. You go to the website, register, enter a couple of details about your site, and start. No matter how big your web app is, it will find all the loopholes. You no longer have to worry about hiring others and save 15 times the money that's usually required for manual testing. Think about all the stuff you can do by saving that much time and money. And the beauty is that you can do it yourself, at any place and any time. So what are you waiting for? Head over to our website and start using Nprobe today. You're looking for a way to reduce paper waste and expand your marketing reach. You're looking for a way to keep your sales force on message and up to date. You're looking for a way to make selling your products so simple they almost sell themselves. You're looking for ICON, the revolutionary cloud-based sales information system from Governor Media. For exhibitions, sales, and seamless brand recognition, documents on the ICON system are available instantly for exhibitions, and representatives. Intelligent Marketing. Governor Media. If you have a short advertisement or company promotional video you'd like to air on Biz2Biz Biz TV, then contact us at this address and we'll give you intelligent advice on how you can use Biz2Biz Biz TV to connect your business with other businesses looking for your product. Did you miss the last live show? Well, um, if you tune into our website, biz2biztv.com, you can watch it on Thursday morning at 10 a.m. GMT. Now you can watch the whole show, or you can watch the individual segments that interest you, so you never have to miss out on the good stuff. Our final item on this week's show is from a company that you'll recognise from show number one. The DEC group was so pleased with the feedback from their first piece that they're showcasing more of their equipment with us. If you missed that first overview of the DEC group, you can still find it on our website, by the way. DEC are well known in the pharmaceutical circles for their containment and micronizing solutions. In this segment, Hewitt Richardson explains a lot more about DEC's powder transfer system and dense phase processing. Hello, welcome to DEC's second film on biz to biz tv I hope you'll find this as informative as the first one. I'd like to focus on a system which is the foundation stone on which the DEC group has built its success. This is the PTS or powder transfer system. The PTS was developed many years ago to do exactly as the name suggests, 
to transfer powder safely between two points. Yes, there have been, always been vacuum transfer systems. Nothing new about that. However, the DEX system does have a number of additional features which we'll discuss later. Firstly, let's look at where the PTS system would be used. The PTS was first developed to feed powders safely into vessels from drums or IBCs. Not such an easy task as you may think. Powders have a propensity to explode, as do vessels under pressure, making powder loading a hazardous operation. The PTS addresses all these points. The DEC PTS system has been developed to not only feed vessels, but reactors and crystallizers, but also to feed numerous processes such as IBCs, hoppers on feeders and blending systems. It will also feed directly into formulation equipment. DEC has also been able to supply these systems for sterile facilities, allowing toxic products to be moved securely and safely throughout the facility without losing sterility. DEC have sold well over 3,000 PTS systems throughout the world in places like America, the Middle East, China, and of course, Europe. Now let's look at the technology itself. The PTS is a very simple device. It consists of four valves and a vacuum pump to give the product motive force. This is peculiar to the PTS, so it is safe and clean. The product moves through the transfer pipe in a series of slugs. This is known as dense phase transfer. Dense phase processing means that at no time product is allowed to turn into a dust cloud. Instead, it is moved slowly through the transfer pipe. The benefit of this system is twofold. Firstly, the entire system can be emptied. And secondly, and most importantly, using this method removes any risk of explosion. This means that the DEC PTS system can feed into explosive atmospheres and due to the pressure delivery, it can drive products safely into pressure vessels if required, all without any risk from the loading process. The product is also able to move over long distances. The PTS system has transferred product almost 70 meters in one application. This is possible to do not only in a straight line, but also up and down, and you are no longer held back by gravity. This deck dense phase system has revolutionized manufacturing facilities for many of our clients and has given them a major processing and financial benefit. Expanding this a little bit further, let's look at the operation of the PTS. As you've seen, the process is very simple but incredibly effective. The second secret of the DEC system is the filter technology, which has been designed specifically to allow the PTS to transfer powders at a high rate without blocking. The filters come in two forms. One is a special PTF heating material. The second is for sterile versions of the system in sintered 316 stainless steel. There are other elements that further enhance the PTS, particularly when in use in the pharmaceutical sector. These include the CIP cleaning head, Further enhancements include the lump breaker lance and the suction hopper for use when connected into other isolation systems such as the ISO tube or the ISO charge. In essence, the PTS can be a standalone process or it has the ability to link with or be completely integrated into your facility, whether chemical, pharmaceutical or sterile. The system is also very flexible in material compatibility, size and offload speeds. The PTS technology has now been developed and used on various other DEC family units such as the PTS feeder, the transbatch, the MPTS for sampling through to the powder flex and the microdosing systems. The DEC powder transfer system is a safe, adaptable system for transporting powder in any environment at an affordable price. Having look, worked closely with this technology for some time, I'd say it is the only way you should transport your powder into your process. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time when I'll be talking about micronizing.
Well, that's all from this week's show. Our next live show is in two weeks, but remember, if you missed out on any of the items, you can see a repeat episode next Thursday at 10 in the morning, or watch the video of the show on our website at www.biz2biztv.com. Now, don't forget to send us with press releases, especially now you know how to make them great. Um, so for me, Rosie Wells, have a profitable week, and we'll see you soon on Biz2BizTV. To Biz